Hello everybody and welcome back to what is I think the final episode in our R&D season playthrough in the hard mode and the reason for that is the uh, the newest update that came out I think it was on the 18th of December uh, has introduced quite a quite a few new things and uh, well we were pretty much there anyways and we were hoping to close this uh, and the folktale series actually so this is um i'm thinking the last very final episode and um what i'll do is in this uh, episode we'll go through a couple of the things that have happened since the last episode and uh, then we will do our final final mission with this colony so first of all i think there were a couple of requests just to have a slightly bit of a closer look into the beaver venice over here and, uh, and yeah, what we essentially have, majority of the buildings are the row houses of different different heights. But I also do have uh, some of the barrack uh, buildings here. And oh, it still seems we have uh, one rooftop terrace that was not uh, done, but that's okay. We'll just take this out. So now this whole area is complete. And yeah, um, the, the way I really built this was um, it took me a couple of tries to get the blueprint in. And then once I had the, the right uh, setup or design, I focused mostly on the on the roads first. So that way they can get those done and then later start focusing on the other platforms and buildings. It just makes uh, makes a lot more, more sense. So uh, typically they would, if you don't set priorities, they would focus on whatever is the closest and that would have definitely slowed down the progress. Um, right, so if I bring the water level back up, um, Greg made a very lovely post uh, that pretty much summarized my feelings and thoughts going into into this build as well. Um, the canals that curve around, I didn't want to just have a, like a grid looking block in here. I wanted to have a bit bit of difference, bit of uh, more like natural look to it. And what is also cool that Greg mentioned is that with the droughts we also see the uh, the tides coming in and going out. Now the reason I think in the time lapse it was initially all platforms. The reason why I changed them to levees is very simple actually. I just wanted to make it look more like it's a it's a concrete barrier that separates the canals from the from the living living areas. And this essentially is um, kind of like the main main um, uh, square, let's say. And in the middle we have this carousel. That would have been operational, but uh, it is not going to be, and I'll show you in very shortly. Now, in some of those buildings or uh, sections or neighborhoods, I I tried to have it at, at different heights as well to give it a bit more character. So I used different buildings such as the industrial log pile or some, um, some warehouses as well, just to uh, change the height up a little bit. And I think what, what is also pretty nice, what I do love about this is... I also managed to get the roads to curve around, go up and down, little bridges that cross the channel here as well. So if we go on this level, uh, that's actually pretty, pretty adorable as well. And in some ways, it is a bit of a shame that we don't see it come to come to life very much right now. But um, I'm actually very happy to have managed to construct this. So once again, Greg, thank you very much for this idea. Now we're moving on. Um, whilst I was building that, the amount of logs that went into this build was just ridiculous. So what I had to do was to expand this growing area in here by having another forester, putting down some more maples, and uh, and also some lumber lumberjack flags. So that area was expanded there, but also in this side, we had to do the same thing, just have some more maples in and, and more resources. And I actually redid... The whole farming area here as well so most of those farms are already raised on top of warehouses and then i had this little uh, walkways covered with roofs in case it gets too hot outside in the in the summer season uh, so beavers now have a bit of uh, shade but that also means their well-being if we look at the roofs this is already maxed out so yeah that worked really well um i think we also had if we hide the water we also have the carrots, but it seems with the uh, with the recent update, they are now flooded and will die under under the water. So 
So yeah, that's not going to be very, very useful going going forward from now. And um, then if I bring it down a little bit, if I can manage that, I put in canals as well under the roads just to keep this area filled up with water, uh, but also increase the fertile land area. Okay, so that's the this section. This took quite a bit of time to figure this out, how we want things, but... Um, but yeah, so the goal of this episode for the finale is to get the well-being to 15. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to skip all the new buildings and stuff that we have. Um, I will do it in a, in a different playthrough. But uh, yeah, we'll skip those. And then we'll, we'll try and max out or very close to the max with everything else that was in the in the pre-update uh, section. So we still have to get some books, the carousel, and the last uh, last monument in, in here as well. So to get this started, I've already cleared up a small area, uh, which will uh, be for the temple, so we can slam that in there. Now power is problematic. Yeah, that's actually the final thing I wanted to show. So with the update, these water wheels produce close to nothing um yeah a little bit painful i've gotta admit all this work i think it took like three four episodes to get it where it is right now and uh, yeah well i it is what it is i guess so what we'll do is we will put down a couple of engines at least this is a welcome, welcomed update. Now they produce more power. I think before it was 200. So now if it's 400, that should be uh, should be pretty good for our needs. Let me just speed up the time actually as well. So we get a bit of daylight. Uh, right, so that is over there. This, I think we'll just delete it in here. Uh, the plan is going to be to build a couple of those printing uh, press buildings. Ooh bit of laggy there so we'll do one here we're gonna remove a bit of wheat in here put flat platforms down and then um, focus on on this section over there all right so let's have a look oh what's interesting our grinder has disappeared so if we go into metal oh because now it's gonna be it's the smelter Okay, so that's why we're not going to be producing any more metal right now. I think at least. Although, yeah, I don't think we have any more scrap metal. Well, that's fine. I don't think we're going to need any more metal anyways. So as soon as they remove these bits, uh, then we can put down those platforms and get the uh, printing press working uh, hopefully as well. Then uh, what else do we do we need? Uh, campfire, rooftop terraces. Okay, so rooftop terraces is probably another one. Uh, have we emptied this? Yes, we have. Um, actually, let's skip the rooftop terraces and get something else in uh, in here. Uh, please build this stairs. Okay, we got the temple now, so that should be do should be enough, I think. And as soon as we get the stairs in place as well. Have we done... Uh, no. Why have you not removed uh, this in here? That's odd. Oh, and also now we do have to select the recipe. So let's just change them into grilled potatoes for that one and uh, wheat flour for this one. Any more ones that we need to change? No, I don't think so. Okay, so this is in what we shall build up here. Uh, do we have enough blanks? Yes, we do. Okay, unfortunately, this one's gonna go uh, for the monument. The mighty tribute to ingenuity is gonna go on top of this one, and that pretty much covers everything that we need here. Uh, so yeah, that's... Uh, ooh, wait. 300 hundred metal blocks. Oh, no. Okay, we are gonna pause this. For now. Uh, that means this episode is going to be a little bit trickier. I was really hoping to get that done. But I forgot that it's going to take 300 metal. 
Okay, we'll, we'll try and have the printing press section working. Uh, for some reason, they're not really deleting them, so I'm gonna uh, carry on with this. We'll schedule them in, and then once we have the engines running as well, we'll, we'll jump back into the, into the game. Alright, we do have a couple of buildings in now. The printing press, for example, is working, and... And yeah, we did have to build the smelter as well, but so be it. A couple of engines here that are, I think, producing us enough power for the time being. Then um, we'll probably, yeah, books is a pretty slow progress. And with the supply, we can probably do another, another printing press here. And I think we are most likely going to need uh, a couple of them. So I'll queue up two already that's gonna bring our metal block uh, tally down another 60 so we're looking at 160 in total so we'll have to produce at least another well quite a few 140 to get this one uh, done but um, i had a quick look other things we'll need is the campfires and honestly that's probably the one of the most annoying uh, leisure buildings i i think I really wish they could have been, I don't know, at least placed on top of other buildings, perhaps. Uh, when it comes to rooftop terraces, uh, we're, we're almost there. Just need, uh, need to find a couple more locations where we could place an, an extra one. Uh, but we might, uh, might even do it, I guess, somewhere, somewhere here. It's a little further away. Yeah, there aren't a lot of lot of areas where we can place them, unless we can do them... Oh, well, we can. Okay, so this is actually not bad. How many could we do here? We could do one... Uh, just two. Uh, two, third one. If we move that staircase, which we can, that could actually help us a lot. So how about we do that? Let's place you down here. And when we take the stairs, let's put it right over there. Give you a slightly higher priority as well. And then we could do a, a second one right against them. So that should be, uh, should be good as well. I suppose we could also put a few more platforms down here, which isn't a bad idea at all. Uh, we just need one line, I think. Yep. And then a couple of smaller platforms. And if we go back to leisure, we can do another terrace just over there. Okay, fantastic. So now this means, uh, let's delete the right things. And we go back to leisure and put another... Oh, no. Okay, because this isn't technically a building. But that we can fix. Dynamite fixes everything, always. So no worries. Okay, printing presses are now operational. And the power supply and demand are actually pretty even as well, so that's good. I think the next worry we have is paper. So how about we pause you and open you instead. Okay, much better. Uh, blanks. We could save a bit more power if we turn off um, one, or, one or two of them. But they only take uh, 50 hamster power. So, yeah. I think it's okay. Where are you guys? Okay, you're all off already. So let's take a look. Uh, I think... Uh, let's see... Where is the temple? So temple's pretty much maxed out. Books is starting to grow, so that's great. Carousel will be... Yeah, carousel and uh, tribute to Ingenuity are the last two things we really need. Uh, beaver statue. Oh, that's gonna take metal as well. So yeah, metal... Uh, is the always the um, bottleneck, but we should have enough scrap metal now. Yes, 158. We have ordered a couple of extra beavers to come and devour this section section there. Okay, other than that, oh, the trees actually have a different look now as well. So that's some sort of uh, resin that's on them. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to try them out, but I'm uh, trying to contain myself and and not jump into anything we don't need just yet all right 
get back to work, I think what we'll do now is to wait for a bit of metal. And once we have enough, then we can construct the last uh, last few things we need as well. When it comes to carousel, yes, you are still taking uh, metal blocks. It would have been handy if we built this facing this way instead, now that I think about it. But yeah, I didn't re know at the time when I was building this that we might run into this kind of a kind of an issue. I mean, I suppose we could give them a a shortcut through here. That might actually help. It might and it should, but it takes quite a bit of power, isn't it? It takes 400 horsepower. Uh, so that means hmm couple more engines. I think when it comes to logs, we have we should have more than enough. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot in here. So we could... We need one engine per carousel. And for some reason I have a feeling that we're going to need about two carousels to fulfill. Or reach um, 15, I think it was. The max, wasn't it? Or 16. Uh, I call it a win if there's a, this number 15 up here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, so I'm going to try and wait until we get a bit more metal. Uh, do you know what? Let's prioritize this building here. Oh yeah, I've turned this off pretty much. Yeah, it's it's not necessary anymore. But okay, we'll be back once we have enough metal and we can start constructing the last few things. All right, and any second now, the final monument should be built as well. I had to build an extra extra smelter there, just to get enough uh, enough metal to have this construction done. Uh, actually, let's just. Uh, Speed up the time a little bit. Last I checked, there was two metal pieces. And here we go. Here's the almighty final beaver statue here. Uh, it looks really adorable, actually. A couple of beavers here. That's awesome. But now um, we also have two more engines. Our log supply seems to be holding up. Um, before, we maxed out at 3,600, but it seems we're... Pretty much okay. It was, yeah, 3,500 to 600, roughly. Uh, I uh, have devoured this area, or should I say the beavers already have devoured this area. So we'll get rid of... Um, oh, there is one still in here. So let's uh, close you up as well. We'll take out the extra bits. And I think we are going to need a little bit extra power. Let's see, right now... Oh yeah, okay, we are gonna need another another 100, so two of those wheels should do it. But then the next problem will be... Uh, well, you look at that, at 15 well-being now. As soon as we get the carousel as well, that's gonna require an extra 400. And for that, I was thinking we'll probably be able to close... Let's see, planks should be maxed out now too, so we can close a couple of them, so that's an extra 100. And then the next one will probably pause once we have enough metal east the smelter, so that's going to give us another 200. Uh, so we are not too far off. Uh, might need just another, another 100, but let's see how it goes. How much more metal do we need? Well, we're, we're halfway there. Uh, let's just check this overlay as well. Everything that was before. Uh, these are pretty low right now, surprisingly. Uh, but the rest, yeah, books plenty in the stockpile over there. I think they just don't have enough time to visit everything. I've I had to increase their work hours just to speed up the metal production. But um, how many more metal pieces do we need? Another 20, okay, so I'll wait another day or two. And once we have those metal metal blocks as well, we'll be right back. All right, and there we have it. The carousel is now complete as well. Uh, all we had to do was create this little platform bridge over here and connect the power to the main grid. And it seems to be operational right now. I've paused the metal smelter there. And um, what we've also done is let's uh, let's reduce further reduce the work hours to ten, and uh, give them a whole 
all day, almost a whole day off to go and have a bit of fun as well. The beavers definitely do deserve that, especially after having this massive construction project there for the beaver town, their holiday st destination. Now, okay, so it is, they're all on the break now. It seems Carousel is pretty popular. I think we can also pause you just to further increase the efficiency. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's see. We're okay. We've got sixteen. I'm happy with that. I take it. Uh, we've uh, maxed out. Well, I mean, they're not quite maxed out, but I think if we wait another day, these should be all in the pretty much all in the in the green, green as well, all close to the max level. But sixteen really marks the 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 most we could have done before the update, and. Um, well, actually, never mind, we've gone up to 17. Okay, well, that's great. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, a little no notification here as well. Your beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well-being high score. Okay, well, I think, yeah, if we did wait another day, we could have these uh, towards the max there as well. We could build another beaver statue if we wanted somewhere, but for me, this is already a win. Seeing number 17 up there is everything I wanted from this, uh, this playthrough. And um, yeah, unfortunately this uh, marks the end of, of our series so far for the Iron Teeth. I'll um, make a copy of the save and, and put it aside in case we do want to check it out in the, in the future once again. But for the time being, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Let's get a better angle on this as well. There we go, now we can see the whole, whole colony. And so once again, thank you very much for joining. Hope you've enjoyed. And uh, I hope to see you again in our future videos. <laughs>